Hey, a friend, Chris here from whitelogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. It's a little over a week now since the major update to Logic Pro for Mac 11 and Logic Pro for iPad 2. And I thought it'd be fun today to dig into Stem Splitter, a brand new feature, and we're going to focus on the Mac in this video, a brand new feature that allows you to split a single file up into various stems. So if you have maybe a stereo audio file that has drums, bass, vocals, and other instruments baked into that one file, and you want to break up the file into separate stems, a drum stem, a bass stem, vocal stem, and other stem, so that'd be guitars, keys, anything else, you can do that in Logic Pro. But I thought it'd be fun to do a direct comparison against some other options out there on the market. How does Logic's stem splitter compare to RX and Acoustica from Isotope and Acon Digital? So I want to dig into that today. And it's not necessarily to say one is obviously better than the other. I'm just really curious, how does Logic's version of stem splitter compare against these other options? So let's dig into it. Now, I do hope you've had the chance to check out the brand new Stem Splitter and Chroma Glow, the Session Players, the new Studio Instruments, everything that came with this major update. If you haven't, be sure to check out my video from last week, which is the full-blown walkthrough of Logic Pro for Mac 11 and Logic Pro for iPad 2. Now, again, Stem Splitter is a brand new feature that leverages AI and machine learning of Apple Silicon Macs. So it is really important to point out that you have to have an Apple Silicon Mac or iPad to be able to use Stem Splitter. But with Stem Splitter, you can take a single file and extract up to four different stems from that file. So on screen, I have a single stereo file. And then I have a series of different stems from other applications that do the same thing. Take a quick listen to a couple bars of this song. Then we'll use Stem Splitter and Logic Pro and then compare the results against some of the other applications. Here we go. Roll out, locking on the take up, dead stop. As a pacemaker, small. All right, so obviously in the vein of hip hop, but with a spooky vibe to it. To get going with Stem Splitter, I can either just right click or hold control and click on the region, then select Stem Splitter from the pop up menu, or you can go to the functions menu with your region selected and go down to Stem Splitter. The Stem Splitter menu pops up, offering up to four different stems to be extracted. This would include vocals, drums, bass, and other instrumentation. So anything that's not vocal, drums, or bass will be in that other category. You could, of course, deselect some of these options if you don't want to include them, but I'm going to include all of these. Let's split it up. All right, so there you have it. Now we have our vocals, our drums, our bass, and other. Let's take a listen to the stems together, and then we'll listen to each of them individually. Roll out. Locking on the take up, dead stop. As a pacemaker, smoke now. Why sleep later? Roll out. Let's roll. All right, sounds pretty good to me. Obviously, we have a bit of artifacts in each of these files. There's a bit of a wateriness to the vocals, to the drums, et cetera, because obviously Logic Pro has to do quite a bit of magic, some heavy math to extract these stems from the single file. Again, if we take a listen to just the vocals. Roll out, like an undertaker, dead stop, as a pacemaker. You can hear the vocals drop out, presumably when the bass or the drums are hitting. If we take a listen to the drums. Again, it sounds pretty good, maybe not perfect. If we listen to the bass. All right, and then the other category. You can hear a bit of the vocals in the background. You can hear elements of the kit, but adding it up all together, it sounds pretty dang good. Roll out. Cool. So now I'm curious, how does this stack up against some other options out there that can extract stems as well? So for this video, I chose to work with Acoustica from Acon Digital, as well as RX11, which I don't have a license for, but I downloaded the trial specifically for this video. So starting in Acoustica, the process you can take one of two ways. 
First, you can go to file, go down to new, and then create a new multi-track session. And we'll just name this session three. You can go right back up to file and import stems from a file. So I'll select from my desktop here, the stereo file, and we'll import everything. And I'll just leave out the keys. There you go, four stems that can be exported. But also in Acoustica, you can drag in that file right onto its own tab and then use the remix tool to extract as well. So I soloed various elements of the file using remix and then just processed. And I did this for each element. So I have two versions from Acoustica here. In RX11, the process is pretty much the same. You bring in your stereo file, then select the music rebalance module, and then just go right down here to stem split. Then I just saved and exported right out of RX. So now inside Logic Pro, I have all of these different stems loaded into the project in their own track stacks. So as you can see, I have the remix module that I split up using Acoustica. I know the files all look identical. For some reason, this is the graphical representation in Logic Pro, but I can guarantee you they're not in fact four copies of the stereo file. Underneath that, I have the multi-track stem split that I did in Acoustica. Then I have the stem split from RX's music rebalance module. Underneath that, I have the actual original stems that I bounced out of that project for the vocals, the drums, the bass, and other instruments. So we could actually do a direct comparison against the original files. And at the very bottom, Logic's own stem splitting. So we're going to take a listen to each stem individually, back-to-back -back comparison to see what sounds best, what's working, what's maybe not working. Let's start out with drums. This is the remix module from Acoustica. Take a listen. All right, so we're hearing clearly more than just drums here. I think it's the vocals that are bleeding through the most, but the drums are also sounding pretty choppy. It's not sounding as clean and clear as I would hope. Let's take a listen to Acoustica's drums, but with that multi-track stem split. You can see visually, yes, it's just the drums, but take a listen. Right, so we're hearing the vocals, we're hearing synths or keys going on, and there's a bit of unusual activity with the drums here. And it, it actually happened to me for all of these stems with the vocals, the drums, the bass, and other. If we take a listen. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on there. We're actually going to just take this out of the equation completely. The stem split in Acoustica, I have used with great success, but for some reason, preparing for this video with this file, with the version I'm working with, it didn't work out very well with that multi-track stem splitting. And that's why I stem split it with the remix module. So I'm not trying to throw Acon Digital under the bus here. It's probably user error, but just for those who wondered, hey, Chris, why didn't you use that one feature in Acoustica? This is why. All right, so let's go back to the original drums here with Acoustica, and we'll compare it against RXs. Take a listen. All right. Let's take a listen to how RX does here. Here we go. Okay, so I would say that is significantly better as compared to Acoustica's remix tool. With RX, we're getting way less bleed of the vocals, of the keys. I mean, it, the drums still sound kind of choppy, but that's significantly better separation. Now take a listen to the drum stem using Stem Splitter in Logic Pro for Mac 11. I think that sounds pretty dang good. Is it perfect? No. But let's compare RX versus Stem Splitter. All 
obviously this can go in a lot of different ways. It's completely dependent, I imagine, based on the music and how much content there is in the music and how much these systems are trying to peel out of that single file. But I'm pretty happy with Stem Splitter right now. All right, so let's now take a listen to maybe the bass for each. So we'll take a listen to the bass from Acoustica. All right, so that 808 sounds like it's underwater. And again, we're hearing a bit of the vocals. It just, I know that that 808 has a lot more punch to it, has a lot more tone to it. Let's take a listen to RX. Okay, sounding better for sure. And let's take a listen to Stem Splitter. Not perfect, but again, I think Stem Splitter did a better job here. Compare this against the original bass. Right? Not perfect, but check it out. This is RX. And Stem Splitter. I feel like Stem Splitter at least has some sense, some intuition that there should be a little more click, a little more punch to the bass, the 808 here. So again, the intent is not to prove that Stem Splitter is better than RX or Acoustica. It's simply just to say, how do they differ? With this one particular piece of music, right? This is clearly anecdotal. This is just one piece of evidence, one piece of music. It would be better to do a huge sample size, but that would make for a really long video. Right, so let's move on to the other category here with Acoustica. All right, so you hear the keys, you hear the synths. It's not very distinct. We also hear the vocals and drips and drabs of drums and bass. Let's take a listen to RX here. Again, in this case, I feel like there's much more distinction for the keys, the synths, and these melodic elements. All right, take a listen to Stem Splitter. All right, so I'm hearing a little bit of the vocals, a little bit of drums, a little bit of percussion bleeding into this other category. In this case, I think RX might be doing a better job here. Okay, I actually don't think it's miles apart here. Clearly, RX and Stem Splitter are determining different aspects of the mix as other. Let's now move on to the vocals. Take a listen. Okay, that's Acoustica with its stem splitting for the vocals. Take a listen now to RX. Like an undertaker, dead stop, stop, stop. As a peacemaker, smoke now. Why sleep a later? Roll out. Let's roll. Okay. And then stem splitter here in Logic Pro. Roll out. Like an undertaker, dead stop, stop, stop. As a peacemaker, smoke now. Why sleep a later? Roll out. Let's roll. All right. So now, how does that compare to RX? That's what I'm really curious about. We'll start with stem splitter. Roll out, 
Like an undertaker, dead stop. As a pacemaker, smoke now. Why sleep a later? Roll out. Let's roll, roll out. Like an undertaker, dead stop. As a pacemaker, smoke now. Why sleep a later? Roll out. Let's roll. All right, let's let's really take a listen to that front end of the phrase. Roll out. Like an undertaker. Just that. Let's listen to Logic Pro stem splitting. Roll out. Like an undertaker. Dead stop. As a piece. Yeah, so I think it could go in either direction here. I think RX and Logic Pro, when it comes to stem splitting, it's kind of splitting hairs. Like you hear a bit of an artifact from the drums and the vocals in one and not in the other, but at a different moment, you hear it in Logic Pro and not RX, right? It, it's either or. I think both RX and Logic Pro do a pretty admirable job here. I have to say Acoustica, the remix tool, it's maybe not quite achieving what I'd hope. But now let's take a listen to Stem Splitter as compared to the original vocals, drums, bass, and other. Roll out, like an undertaker, dead stop, as a pacemaker. Now let's take a listen to Stem Splitter from Logic Pro. Roll out, like an undertaker, dead stop, as a pacemaker. All right, now the drums. Stem Splitter. The bass. First is the original. And other. Versus Logic Stem Splitter. There you have it, Logic Pro Stem Splitter, brand new to Logic Pro for Mac 11 and Logic Pro for iPad 2, versus two other products on the market that can stem split as well Acoustica from Acon Digital and RX11 from Isotope. Honestly, as compared to the competition, I think Logic Pro Stem Splitter does pretty dang well. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to Wide Logic Pro Rules on the website here on the channel. Plus, be sure to check out the links below, which always include links to PDFs, guides, templates to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.